We gotta hurry. <laughs> Winter's coming. I want to get started then. Uh, I'm gonna hurry the rain's coming. I know. I'm aggravating Matt because we've got to hurry. Winter's coming. The first hard, hard freeze, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. It's gonna be high 30s in the morning, but Wednesday morning really cold. It's like in the, the 20s. 20s. Yeah. So we still have all our peppers out. So I'm feeling like we've got to run and hurry. And then now it started sprinkling rain. And this is our last opportunity to harvest the rest of the garden, which is not that much, but still makes you feel like you're running against time. Is that mm -hmm. what you feel like? Mm -hmm. You gonna run? Well, I don't feel as much as you do now. <laughs> you're not gonna take off running? No. No? No. But feel free. <laughs> I'll watch you. Okay. This part of the garden is still so lush and beautiful. Hard to believe this late in the year that it is, but it's just beautiful. Still really green and vibrant and lush, but it's the part that once this cold weather gets here, that hard freeze overnight, it will just, it'll just be gone. It'll just all fall over. So that's where we're gonna start with the peppers. Matt and I both are gonna pick these peppers. He's starting on one end, I'm starting on this end, and then we're just gonna go ahead and pull the plants up because with the cold weather coming, that'll definitely be it for the, for the peppers for this year. Even the ones that are small, we're gonna go ahead and grab. Look at how teeny tiny that one is. That one's got some bad places, but I'll see if I can salvage some of it. I'll probably put these in the freezer. You know what, I think should be done with these? what do you think should be done with More these? More pepper jelly. More pepper jelly? Well, I could do that too. I think we'll definitely have enough. You burnt in the plant, don't do it. Just kidding. I'm gonna pull them up anyway. I know, I just miss them. There's a few little Tommy toes that are still ripe. Probably just a handful, but I'm gonna pick them and take them in. Matt's gonna eat some of them, looks like. They are good. Again, hard to believe this time of the year that we've still got them. I dropped one of them. I was going to give one to Corey because they're so good. Thank you. Mmm, it is good. <laughs> it is, ain't it? It's your last taste of summer, Corey. Sad. I see some peppers y'all missed. Oh, did we? I think we should eat these as a last celebration of summer. Matt, Corey. Goodbye to summer. Mm -hmm. Come on, Dad, one more. Eat the green one, Dad. I do. Okay, can eat the green no, one. No, I'm not eating the green one. Why? Right. We'll throw it down for next year's garden. One of the biggest nasturtium leaves I've ever seen. They're all big, though. I have to say goodbye to them.
plants. It's been out here so long that the strings rotted off of them. What we tied them up with. It's crazy. I think there's a pepper on one of the things you're holding, buddy. Spin over to us, me. How dare you try to waste this pepper? You can see this nasturtium has started climbing, climbing itself up, but look at that. It almost looks like a rose. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, once the bloom is open, it'll look like this one. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. You can see it's climbing up here too, but it'll, it'll all be gone. Down in here, you can see really easily, nasturtium seeds are easy to find and easy to keep. See how big those are? They're just laying there. Those are seeds, so I can collect those and dry them. That one's smaller, but still a seed. Lay them out to dry. You can also eat them, they're edible, but lay them out to dry and then next year plant them again. I've never had any reseed themselves, but if I ever were, was gonna have that happen, I think it would definitely be this year just cause they've been so amazing. I didn't plant this here, but I've noticed when we're in here pulling out the peppers, there's some dill. Look at that dill. I'm going to have to get that and take it in and, and dry it. Makes me wish I had some pickles to make. But I think I'm just going to pull it up, pull the whole thing with me and take it, take it in there with me. I wonder if it come from if I accidentally planted it or I had dill in my herb bed that went to seed. and Maybe some of the seeds blew over here and and then grew i don't know but i've never had deal this late in the year the nasturtiums have done so well this year they're just beautiful you can see i'm i'm sitting in between two mountains of nasturtiums these are so beautiful look at their leaves they've just continued to grow uh, they've not petered out like they usually would They've just continued to just do wonderful. And the last little bit of cool weather we've had, it's pretty warm today, but we've had, you know, two weeks or so of cooler temperatures. They have just, just had a new regrowth. You can see this one over here, how beautiful it is. I'm not sure what the prettiest color is. You can see here's two of the lovely colors. And then this year, Katie got some seeds that were pink. So there's actually a pink one. Let me go see if I can find one and I'll bring it back. Okay, I went back and found some others. They're just such varying different little shades of orange and, and yellow, so beautiful. Here's the pink ones that I was talking about that Katie got. Kind of a, a hot pink and then a lighter pink as they as the flowers begin to fade. And each flower is different, just like any other flowers. But aren't they beautiful? Especially when you put them, put some of those beautiful colors together. Now they're not a flower that really holds up for a long time. You can take in a bouquet and it'll be pretty for the rest of today. But by tomorrow, it'll be be wilting. So it's not a long lasting flower, but they are just beautiful especially when you consider that they're edible. They're just one of my favorite flowers, nasturtiums, and I can't imagine not having them in my garden. Here's some more of the seeds you could get. Mm, there it is. 
while I look for seeds, you can really see how dry we are. Terribly dry. We need rain really bad. I know a lot of people do. A lot of people are suffering worse than we are from lack of rain. We had it all summer until fall got here and then our rain went away. Here's some calendula seeds that I need to need to get for next year. Break off some of them to take with me. They were a pretty, pretty pink color, especially when they first bloom out. They have like a, a pink tinge to them. I had a few calendula reseed themselves for the first time this year, so that was nice. But I'll save some seeds just in case. Right here below the calendula is something that definitely needs to be took in is my aloe plants, just one of them. I have one in the kitchen, but I definitely need to sit it out so that I can take it in and, and put it where it's warm because it's not gonna like the cold weather either. It's got some new growth right there, but I need to cut back these places. When I first put it out here, it looked beautiful and then it quickly looked horrible and it was because it got too much rain. It just got too wet because um, we were having, you know, usually in the summer we have rain at least every week, if not every three or four days. And it just got way too wet, but it is beginning to, to come back with this drier weather. I need to trim it though and take it in. I've been leaving the butter beans to make sure they get as big as they possibly could, but with the impending weather, we're gonna pick them all and be done with them. I have some the last time that I picked, I put in the freezer. So between those and these, we should have at least enough for a, a mess, enough to eat for supper. some we've let dry on the vine. There's a different color, like a purple color. Pretty. They hide from you. You don't know they're here till the next time and you're like, how did I miss that? So we got all the butter beans picked and we cleaned out the trellis here, the cattle panels, looks a lot better. In this end over here though, we had some peppers. So I'm gonna see if there's any peppers left left on them. And I see some already. There's a few, there's two. So I'll get that off. There's a little red one. off and see what's make sure I got any. Here's one more I need to get. Let's see about this one. There's one. Got a leaf stuck to it. And one more plant. Yep, there's one. I started saying I don't know if there's any on it. There's a baby one. Where's the baby one? Down to your left. On another branch. Oh, on another one. Yeah, there's 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 one. Yeah, but it is not to be, little peppers, not to be. I've got a few more Mississippi pink eye peas, not many, but we'll go ahead and harvest them while we're getting the last of it and clean this bed out. I thought we had all the clean beds mostly cleaned out, but I forgot about this one.
So I got some rosemary to take in and dry too, along with my dill and other things. We cleaned out the herb bed a little bit, cut some stuff back. I got some stuff so I could take it in and dry it. I found some ground cherries. I'm the only one that likes them, so I know Matt and Corey don't want to eat these. And even though my hands are dirty, I'm gonna eat them. Mm. That one's really dirty though. Maybe I should wipe it off. Maybe the extra dirt would be good for my gut health. Gut, what is it, biome, Corey? This is the lemongrass that we've got to move. I harvested some of it, but we've got to move it. A few of you told me when I planted it, I shouldn't plant it there. For you were right. The kind that Miss Cindy had never got really big. Now that might've been because her garden was poor. It was shady. Might've been, I don't know. Anyway, it definitely needs to be moved. The hyssop was my favorite thing. This is it. It was just beautiful all summer long. And it's supposed to come back. So I cut it back really, really good though. We'll see if it survives the winter here and comes back. Of course, the sage will be okay. Lemon balm will disappear. Um, parsley will disappear when that cold comes. But at least it looks a little bit better. We've cleaned it cleaned it up a little bit. Look what I got. A toenail? Toenail. Mmm. Tastes good, but it'll be a long time till I need suntan lotion again. You're gonna have to make us a gnat smoke. And the bugs are bad. How's that? Well, I think it needs to be better than that, but... That's all I got right now. They'll probably stick to my popsicle. They eat fast. I know. They won't hurt you. No. Just eat them. Protein. Don't you feel good that we rushed and got all that done? Yep. Not really? Well... Well, you wasn't as excited about it as me. Explain something to you, woman. This is a fact that you should already be well aware of. This time of year, my mind thinks of one thing. It's not gardening. And it ain't gardening. I like gardening, and I like eating out of the garden. But this time of year, it's all about the woods. Yeah. So while we were doing that, I was thinking where am I going to go this evening, and how am I going to set up and hunt? Gotcha. Well. Sorry, but that's the facts. I don't know. But I'm excited we got it done. Kind of putting the garden to bed. Not really totally though, because we still want to, um, we want to, Matt wants to till the soil. He already did it once in the big garden, but in all the other beds and everything, we want to do that several times to try to kill some of the bugs, especially the squash bug. I think we decided we was going to add lime. Oh yeah. I'd like to add, we'll, we always add compost in the spring, but I'd like to add some kind of compost and let it sit all winter. I don't know if we'll get that done, but. We limed it all last year. We did. We just need to do it more, do it again, keep doing it, and do yeah. actually put more on it than what we did. Yeah. More, I mean, it, it's good for it, especially this acidic soil. Yeah. And course there's things we want to do different we want to move stuff like I was talking about the lemon balm that's got to be moved uh, I might even move the hiss up if it comes back I'd like to get I love the raised beds that we put last year on the bank and they make them in round forms I'd like to get two round ones for both of those and put them somewhere that way you could keep them and let them get as big as they wanted but they'd be contained what other things we want to do next year to finish making whatever kind of steps to the lower beds down there. Mm -hmm. I don't look like that's going to happen this year. Well, it might. It might. I but. mean, after Christmas or... I told you that'd be good January work. You going to work me out in the cold? <laughs> I hope it's going to be snowing in January. You wouldn't well, get hot, see? You wouldn't have to worry about sweating. Well, that's true. I'd still rather do it then. Yeah. Ground might be a little hard. Maybe. 
And you, just, you can feel in the air though a change coming, can't you, today? We'll be here late this evening tonight. It's funny that we're sitting here with our popsicles and short sleeves. I think it was 74 earlier today. I don't know what it is right now. It was the sun was out, out then. Did you hear that? It's like one of our chickens. I was like, what the heck? Anyway, in the morning we'll need a coat. So, big, big difference coming overnight. I like it. And then even more cold coming behind that. So, it'll be... There's no doubt we'll have not just a frost, but a hard frost. Oh, and I forgot one more thing we need to take care of. All my pumpkins on the porch and my winter squash. Where are you going to put them? In the kitchen. Could cover them up out there somehow. I wonder if that'd be okay and then uncover them. Or if we should just bite the bullet and put them in like we usually, it's just time to put them in. Yeah, I and mean, you'll just be in and out with them, probably. Mm -hmm. you have to keep worrying about going and getting them, probably. Yeah. I mean, will the cold hurt them under the porch roof? Mm, it won't be good for them, probably. I mean, depending on how long, how cold it gets and how long it stays cold. But, <coughs> it's going to be down to the 20s tomorrow night. Yeah, probably just need to go take them in. I had that on my mental list, and then I got so excited about the peppers and the butter beans, I forgot it. Yeah, you got a little excited. I got a little off excited. Running. Yeah. Like a little school girl. Yeah. One thing we'll do the same, thinking about the same next year, is we'll definitely plant those a lot of rattlesnake beans. They produce so much for us. Mm -hmm. We've been growing them for several years, but this year is the first year Matt insisted, and he was right as usual, that we grow our main big rows, that those be rattlesnake beans. And you were right. Not only did they produce so much, um, they, they didn't seem like the bugs bothered them as bad, the bean bugs. Now next year they might, but I hope tilling, Matt tilling it several times this winter will help that. But they did so much better, didn't they? They just made more. I mean, I got tired of, I mean, I like the other beans, but I just got tired of having to wait and get two or three pickings to get a canning. Because mm -hmm. they just wouldn't, we just couldn't grow them like we could grow these well they're just a different type of bean I just don't it's not as high of a yield but what we would love to do is have a place to grow two more have two more big long rows like that and then one of the you know we could plant a big long row of butter beans our peas and then have enough of those to can we, we nice. loved them we love to eat them but we've mostly just eat them fresh this year we did dry some pe peas not really on purpose and only enough probably for one or two meals in the winter but because of our busy schedule just how it all the busyness of our lives how it happened um, and for the first time ever because those rattlesnake beans did produce so much we dried beans like mm -hmm. we'll have won't that be exciting yeah. this winter on a cold day to know that we're going to have a big pot of soup beans but it's going to be our <coughs> beans mm -hmm. that's going to be pretty nice for the first time ever that we've yeah. done that so that will be great yes it will another thing of course we're always dreaming about is if we could grow corn again and there's actually this year like a glimmer of hope that we might be able to next year. Maybe. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We'll see. That would be nice, especially Debbie shared that corn with us that was open pollinated mm -hmm. that one of you shared with her. Mm -hmm. So that would be awesome to try that. Yeah, awesome yeah. to have a big row of Silver Queen like that's what we always grew, what Pap's favorite and our favorite was or is even now. Yeah, it's good stuff. I like to be able to, like it used to be, go to the garden and just pull ears off off a stalk and eat them for supper right 30 minutes later, mm -hmm. getting fresh. Yeah. That's hard to beat. Oh, it is, yeah. And just the magic of being in a cornfield. I think cornfield is one of the most magical places when you're 
in there I, I, I say this but I guess I'm saying a cornfield like we would have where there is weeds and there is morning glories growing you know commercialized farmers that do big cornfields there's is there's no weeds there's just the straight corn and I don't think that's magical but uh, but the way that we always grew it I love to go to the cornfield with Pap the corn patch and follow him through as he snapped off the cobs and hear the bees when the corn's tossling and mm -hmm. you can hear the it's just a steady hum yeah no, steady no hum of the bees and then you look around and you see some little blooms of some morning glories or something and just feels alive you know mm -hmm. really a, a beautiful place yep. i'll have to use my the bugs are eating me up are they not eating you a little bit yeah i'm like you with the bees today but i've got bugs the main thing I, I would hope for next year is that we could not have as many squash bugs. And they did get in our squash eventually. We still grew a lot of winter squash, but mostly they decimate our cucumbers is what they get. Yeah, they eat them up. So Matt is going to make a, I could do it too because it's so small, but we're going to make a real effort to at least three or four times till the soil under and bring all that to the top so that hopefully some of their little eggs will be destroyed by the cold. Mm -hmm. I guess most of all when we think about when you think about this year what was your what do you think we did the best with? The beans. The rattlesnake beans. Yeah. yeah. And we did pretty good with the potatoes too. Yeah potatoes we had a good crop of potatoes. <clears throat> That's just something we hadn't done went and growed a lot of. We used to. Yeah. But it's just like the corn, we didn't have as much of a place to do it here. And then we started growing them in the bags, That's grow bags. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And then I made a, one of our beds that was deep enough, made it, we just put potatoes in it and they did well there too. Mm -hmm. Last, not this year, but last year for the first time we canned potatoes and we really liked that. We didn't get to do that this year. We had enough, we grew more probably twice as much mm -hmm. if not three times as much as we did the year before but we just been eating them we've just been eating them yeah. and we didn't we just ain't had time to can them but yeah that was a success for sure and mm -hmm. the beans and we did i did manage to fight the squash bugs off the cucumbers long enough that we were able to can or make pickles out of a lot of the mm -hmm. cucumbers but i finally just give up you just get so tired of fighting them and every time you go out there there's 1500 more 15 mm -hmm. million it seems like <laughs> so my gosh even pickles is so good we had them last night for supper nice job i can't believe how good them are. those are it's just unbelievable oh they're so good probably my uh and we're talking about justin metcalf's dill pickles they're so good probably my favorite and our cabbage did good this year and we have loved Granny's making, I made cabbage or made kraut the way Granny does this year. And it's been a hit with all of us. Mm -hmm. Corey and especially me and Corey, everybody's liking it. But me and Corey and I think Austin likes it as much as we do. We've just been like consuming the jars. They're not going to last long. Not going to last long. Are you thinking I don't like it? Do you like it? You like it as good as we do? Yeah. Do you? I just think you're hiding the jar because <laughs> I don't see, I, I've not been with you when all this was going on. <laughs> Me and Corey's just been eating it. And you just waited till I leave I've and like been drag eating it, it with an egg sandwich. I put a side of crowd on it. Yeah, I like that stuff. I just. <laughs> it's just been so good. I just thought it was either all gone or. No. Well, I think you're just, I think you're just hiding it on me. <laughs> oh, it's still, we've still got some. Anyway, that was the highlight. You get on the phone, call her, and say, he's gone. Come on. <laughs> let's, to get out let's of the jar and sit him in the dark and eat it. Yeah, see how much we can eat. Yeah. <clears throat> it was a real joy to um, grow those different kinds of beans and butter beans that uh, Debbie shared with us. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Those little Holstein peas, we didn't grow many of them, but I loved that. And we've got plenty of seed for next year if we had a better place to grow them. Um, what else? Oh, the paint bean. We've not cooked any of those. I can't wait for them. The preacher bean, Matt loved, adored, oh, yeah. and it was really prolific. And it's different than the rattlesnake bean, though. Had a white bean, and then it's um, the pod kind of stayed is full but shorter. Mm -hmm. So those were a huge success. 
Our tomatoes did, eh, okay. Not as, so. Maybe not as good as they usually do. But, well, the one thing that did was the Tommy Toes. It's probably the best Tommy Toe year we've ever had. Well, that's probably because that's mostly what you planted. Yeah, I was going to say, um, my, it was my fault that the tomatoes just did so-so because me and Corey got the, got the cups mixed up or we planted the wrong things. I don't know what we did, but we mostly had Tommy Toes instead of big tomatoes. So, poor Matt. Yeah, I had a couple of Tommy Toe sandwiches. Yeah, he's gonna. Matt's gonna be in charge of overseeing the the seed seedlings next year. Okay. Yeah, make sure me and Corey don't get to talking and mix mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Yeah. So overall, though, wonderful garden seasoning season. Yep. <clears throat> I guess our biggest complaint, which is nothing that we couldn't do nothing about, was just that um, you know taking care of Miss Cindy and then her passing away and grieving and then Granny being sick right after that. It's just that we didn't have the time that we usually do when it comes to uh, preserving things like canning those potatoes. We did can quite a bit of green beans. Mm -hmm. I didn't make as many pickles. I didn't make any jelly except Matt's pepper jelly, and that's only that he demanded it. That's good stuff. Yeah, it so is good. Those peppers we picked this morning, we need to do that. We need to that. do that, make some more. We've already ate a couple of jars of them, so I really do need to do that or we won't have none to make it all winter. That is nice stuff. Yeah. You can make a meal on that and some cornbread and mm -hmm. some a potato or something. Yeah. You gotta have taters. So overall it was a, a good season, a good garden. There's always something that does really, really good and then something that doesn't do as good. Like our zucchini and squash this year was a total flop. Yeah. <clears throat> but not because of the squash bugs either, just because they just didn't grow. They mm -hmm. just didn't. I don't know if it was our unusually, we had an unusually cool spring and early summer. I don't know. Everything else grew though, so I really don't think that was it. So spinach did really well. Spinach did it good. It always does. It good. always does. Um, we really love it. A lot of people have asked me recently, do we preserve it? No, we could, but I don't. I've never tried to freeze it, or I should. I just haven't managed to do that. But freeze it, or I guess you could can it, either one, like you would greens. You just eat on it till it frosts, and then just start again next year. out until next year, yeah. I should try to, though. Maybe next year. Maybe that'll be another one. Yeah. So we hope, thinking about next year, to have... Like I said, I wanted to get some more of those little raised beds, the round ones, and maybe a, Matt's built me those beautiful steps. Maybe a long one would fit right there, Matt. At the top of the steps? No, I mean it right down here between this one, where this one ends and that. Oh, like where the yeah. wheelbarrow yeah. at, is at. Yeah, we can put one there. Yeah. So, ever expanding. Yep. We're really interested in expanding for the peas and the bean, the butter beans. Mm -hmm. Those things are so good. It's hard for us to believe that November's here. Mm -hmm. Got and, here quick. And really shows, though, that our garden did do good, that we've still got peppers, and we're, we're still harvesting peppers. And you saw, saw all the blooms on the one I showed you. So if the cold weather wasn't coming, they'd just keep producing. Mm -hmm. And then we're still having the little Tommy Toes is all that's left, but yep. we'll match cherry. But as fast as time is going, and before long, we'll be doing Thanksgiving. We have Christmas, and then we'll be planting, starting seedlings, peppers and tomatoes. and. Yep. Be nice. Yeah. Start it all over again. Mm-hmm. You get to be here for all of it this year, though. Yep. You feel like I did the first year that I left work. I was just like, oh, I'll be here during the day if I want to go spread mulch, if I want to, instead of trying to cram it all in on the weekends like we usually would do. Yeah. Or late in the evening. And certain time of the year, it's too dark. You can't work in the evening. Yeah, I stayed so. exhausted for years <laughs> doing yeah. that, working, working a job and then doing all that on the weekend. You'll be here to help do a little bit here and there yep. and we can do it do it a little bit at a time is easier than trying to do it all at once as long as I won't get fired you ain't gonna get fired you're co co-owner in this business oh yeah yeah cool 
How about we have a vacation day? We need one, don't we? <laughs> yeah. We need one. Thinking about this time of the year, like Matt said, his favorite is the because it's hunting season. This is his favorite time of the year. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to say because I love all the I just I love all the seasons of Appalachia. I'm so thankful we live in a place where you get all the seasons. I love the first green. Thinking about next spring, uh, first little green that you see the tinges on the mountain. But I love the heat of summer, and then I love this time, like right now, anticipating the first really cold weather and hopefully our first fire. We've not had a fire yet. Building a fire and... We will tomorrow, ain't it? Yeah, and then, uh, you know, of course I love the holidays, thinking about it. And I, I do like, as much as I like gardening, it is a, re a relief, isn't it? in the winter to know that you kind of tuck in and mm -hmm. and you're still busy doing stuff but you're not out you're not you know plowing for mat or hoeing or harvesting so it does give you a break from that let your body rest yep. they're starting to get on me now are they mm -hmm. yeah. maybe i've fanned them over your way yeah thank you yeah Of course, when you were little this time of the year, you'd already started back to school. I guess you enjoyed that. Yeah, made me sick to my stomach yeah. every year. I, I just almost couldn't bear to go. It was so bad. I didn't like it. I didn't not like it like Matt does. There's parts of it I really liked and then parts of it that I didn't like, but I just went along to get along, I guess. But if I'd had a choice, if somebody said you didn't have to go to school, I'd have said, okay, sounds good. But mm -hmm. I was okay to go to. There were some parts that I really liked. Of course, I liked seeing my friends and talking, and I didn't mind the homework too bad. Matt did. I didn't do it. Yeah. That's why you had <laughs> such a problem. Yeah. That's why you had so many problems. Yeah. But, well, I had other stuff to do. Those squirrels running mm -hmm. in the woods in the fall. Yeah. Thinking about next spring be exciting because Matt's here, you know, uh, like I said, to help with all the little garden things and he can oversee me and Corey and <laughs> all that. But also very exciting that our grandbaby will be here. So that's yeah. gonna be be different but exciting and a little seedling. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be an amazing, amazing thing. We get more excited about it all the time. Yeah. Another exciting thing, major change for our family, is my brother Paul's going to retire at Christmas. So once he goes out for Christmas vacation, he won't go back to work. And I'm so happy for him. And he's worked so hard to get to where he's at. And he's, a, if you don't know, he's a principal of a, a school, elementary school. Prior to that, he was a language arts teacher for many, many years. So he's been working basically since the very, when he graduated high school, I mean, <laughs> high school, he graduated college and got his first job, you know. So he's been working in the school system ever since then, but been principals at, uh, principal at a different school for many years and then now he's for the last several years I guess quite a few now ain't it mm -hmm. he's been back at our local school Martins Creek so I know that they will desperately miss him but I'm so happy for him I'm so happy that he'll be able to do what he what he wants to do and, and he'll enjoy uh, it enjoy it yeah I don't know if it's like where where you live, if it's like it is here, but they've had a, in the last probably five years, had a really hard time finding bus drivers. So not only is Paul the principal of a pre-K through eighth grade school, so lots of things to worry about there, he also drives a bus every day. He has to do a bus route, so his day starts so early. And then, of course, in the evening, once he drives the route, then he has to go back to school, you know, and work and all the things that, you know, you can imagine what a principal does, so. And he's been driving the bus, what, probably for three years, four years, something like that? Yeah, longer than a long, that. Maybe even longer than that. Yeah, several years. So, uh, I'm, I'm really happy for him. And so, in one way, I'm glad time's going by so fast because I'm like, it's a little bit longer, Paul will be, he'll get out for that. Christmas vacation and he won't have to go back. Mm -hmm. So, exciting changes. Yep. 
I guess me and Matt better go in and figure out what we're going to do with all of our, our last harvest, the last harvest of 2023. Yep. In one way, that's really cheating, though, because we've still got the, it's not true, we've got the fall things yep. that we'll still be harvesting. I guess I could have said the last harvest of summer 2023. Right. It'll be it for the summer things. We're always grateful when you stop by to help us celebrate Appalachia, which for us is a whole lot of making a garden to feed our family. See if any of these are how big they are. Some of them will be bigger than others, I guess. That was pretty big, though. Mm -hmm. Get off me. When are you gonna cook them? Well, I don't know. This is probably some just the white ones. Oh, I picked one. Here it is. A great old big butter bean. Mm -hmm. I, I swear I think I'm feeling cool air. Am I being, being, jumping to conclusions there? or I, It's being... supposed to begin to cool us in the, as it goes into evening. And that one's pink, but yeah. it's not. I was hoping it'd be one of those big pretty, 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 pretty purple ones. These are some of those pretty purple ones. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll drop that one, but it's just dried. That's one we they hide from you, and you don't know they're <laughs> can't see them. Can't see them until the next time. Well, those are just tiny little ones, but I don't know. I guess I'll keep it. Let's see what this one is. I swear I'd like to grow these just because they're so pretty to look at. But they're good too. Ooh, look at that one. Wow. Pretty. It is pretty. Mm. Well, I guess I need to go in and think about supper. I laid out chicken, but I don't know what I'm going to make with it. I could do a chicken casserole. Maybe if I've got broccoli. That'd be good. If not, I could just roast it. And you could have green beans and, I don't know, something, something, something. Whatever you'd like to do. It's good that we cleaned out those places too, not just got this and the peppers. Yeah. Yeah, it looks the better. All that overgrowth that always gets past us needs to be gone. Yeah. So lots of times, you know, over the years, because of being so busy, we've left it all till the next spring, and then you've <laughs> yeah. got to tear down the garden before you can plant it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice not to have to do that anymore. We've been notorious for that, ain't we? Mm -hmm. But that's just the best you could do. That's the best you could do. Yeah. But we've literally had to take down beans so that we could plant beans. Yep. Same thing with corn. Had to take down corn stalks so that we could plow and replant. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think turning everything over will really help, don't you, with the squash no, yeah. bugs? I mean, it ain't going to hurt a thing. I hope so. Because they were just terrible this year and there's really no when you search for stuff I mean people say try this try that try this well I tried all kinds of stuff of course I don't want to use poison but I'm not even sure poison would kill them <laughs> yeah, not either. they're just unstoppable the only thing you can do is mash out their guts now, the only thing that I didn't try was to make up a mixture of like dried I mean pepper like cayenne garlic and I can't remember what else it was. You mix that up and you let it sit for, you know, two or three days, whatever, and then you spray that. And it doesn't hurt your plants because it's not, you know, poison, but it's supposed to ward them off. That's the only thing I didn't try. I think that I tried my, every other thing. It hurt my feelings to do that and not put it on a piece of meat. I know, but <laughs> man, it'd be worth it. Even yeah. if you had to, well, you could buy cayenne pepper, I guess, but yeah. I did when I was looking for something the day, I wasn't looking for them, but I did find a bunch, a handful of dried cayennes from last year. So I thought, oh, I could grind those up because mm -hmm. I knew you was going to say that about the peppers. Anyway, but we could try that next year, but hopefully yeah. just turning the stuff over and make yeah, a difference. That'll help it. Do it at the right time on it when there's going to be some cold, hard coal coming, but the ground ain't froze. Get out there and turn it ahead of it. Maybe we'll get as cold as we did last Christmas. I hope not. I know. I ended up having to work on people's water, fall out water for two weeks, I know. and fix busted pipes and I stuff. Know. Yeah, that was hard on a lot of people, not just yeah. here, but 
Lots of people's water that had never froze, froze. Yep. Lots of damage too. Yep. Alright, you ready? I reckon. Alright. Gonna do a thumbnail. Oh yeah, I forgot. What are we gonna do? I don't know, maybe a thumbnail. <laughs> oh not that. <laughs> maybe you could hand like a maybe you could hold the peas or you could get hold the peppers if I had some peppers. No, quit. Or watch that. Probably. Yes, I can't. You can't really see the peppers, can you now? Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Are you sure? Well, I, as well <laughs> as I can see. I don't know. I think it's good. <laughs> Look, smell of this. It's not. I'm gonna put that under your pillow tonight. What is it? Rosemary. Doesn't it smell great? You've made rosemary chicken? I have. Since you've got chicken tonight, yeah. you could do that. Yeah, I could. I don't know if that chicken casserole sounds awful good. Katie, Katie would eat that. You know where it come from? We seen these claws up. Really? Mm -hmm. She yeah. had stuff in it, like clothes and stuff, but just like that is so big and sturdy. Put it to use. Yeah. I feel cold air. Better run again. I know. Okay. 